your next review? You want to review one of your books or a show? Yeah, well, I did. I finished the Mr. Mercedes trilogy. So well, I read Mr. Mercedes. I didn't realize <clears throat> that there was another two books in the trilogy. Essentially, yeah, it's the Mr. Mercedes trilogy, but I'll call it the Bill Hodges trilogy mm -hmm. it's basically the cases that bill hodges worked on and they do involve mr mercedes a bit especially the first one and the last one but uh i'm not gonna spoil them i yeah. think they're really good the the third one end of watch uh goes in a Stephen king like um uh, it's not a, that based in reality it is reality but you still believe it because the way he writes it the first two are very gritty crime travel novels. All right. Yeah, they're based in reality, but the last one it goes places like some of his other works. It gets weird. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of Stephen King stuff is weird. However, it's totally believable because the characters are so grounded. Like Bill Hodges is an old cop, right? Okay. And uh, yeah, and how he's try basically he's been solving these crimes out of he's not a he. The first one, he was a cop, but he's going outside of his cop duties. You know, he's been going outside of mm -hmm. of things and trying to work with the system, which seems to be really stupid, and they just want promotions and stuff like that. So, anyway, and he's got some people with him that are helping him. His trio of Holly and Jerome is there. But I, they're still, they're, they're really good, and they're suspenseful. I totally recommend men them, and you want to know, like, what's happening and what's going to happen you can do some spoilers if you want you don't have oh, to spoil the whole story i don't story. want to because i don't know if any people have read them but i totally i just recommend they're fun this first yeah they're one, dark like the first one is very this dark. first one finders keepers is from 2015. that's that's the second one of course because mr mercedes is the first one. yeah so yeah that's their agency i'll give a little spoiler finders keep keepers is the agency that hodges and holly is a private detective agency okay it's a that PI they firm. create yeah gotcha. and that's kind of how he's working um yeah and so on the next the last two books that's basically they're working out of that okay. yeah <clears throat> did you so, discover what the umbrella was for the umbrella well the first book had an umbrella all over it well i don't know i don't remember an umbrella but anyway no i don't remember an umbrella all right, but. okay, so Finders Keepers, that's the agency, so that book is about them working on another case or the same case? Different different things, different things. They don't want to give it away. Okay. It's, it's good. If you like Mr. Mercedes, keep on reading. It does get dark. There's a lot of dark characters in it, and Stephen King's uh, dark characters are very dark. He really goes there with them, so just be aware of that, which I don't really care for, but... Still, they're well written and they're suspenseful and uh, yeah, and you know these characters, you you know them a lot now. Once you get especially the third one, you know a lot about them. Who are all the characters? Hodges, and Holly, and Jerome, and Jerome's sister Barbara. They all work for this agency, Finders Keepers. Uh, no, Jerome is off to school in these last two books, um, but he comes home and Barbara's in them. The second one, Barbara's in it as like, <clears throat> because the main, the main character is about, the second one is a, a bit of a, is different from the other two. It's about a different killer, basically. The and, second uh, one. Yeah, the second one. And uh, it's a really neat story though. And it's about a different family, but Barbara and Jerome do get, are involved with the family. Okay. They are involved, they're friends. So they, well... All the girls have a crush on Jerome. <laughs> All right. So, but uh, they, yeah, so the, the second one is a little different. And and Hodges is always like a step behind in the second one. But the third one, he's he's right on the case like all the time anyway i enjoy them they're fun they're dark the the killers are very very dark just be aware of that okay right. so it gets gruesome there and yeah they're gruesome but then like, the way they forever. think is very deranged but it's always good to think like for people like that there are you have to know there are people like that out there and in their minds you're really in their minds i'll put that in quotations 
anyway especially one okay. of their lines yeah any so. final thoughts on no that? i think they're good so that was finders keepers and end of watch end both of watch. by stephen king yeah that's the, the trilogy now there are other books that holly is in and i'm going to try to read them as well but i think i'm going to take a little departure away uh from stephen king for a little while because i find it i did try to read the dark tower and i really didn't like it i don't know i couldn't get into it wasn't wasn't for you remind me of the guy from westworld scalping people and looking in their heads and just very oh, the man in black yeah it has a man in black in it and it was just like it was just too much getting back to westworld and the puzzle that's never solved and it just i didn't like it at all so i i'm yeah. not gonna read that West, series. that westworld show was just a convoluted <laughs> mess well westworld poisoned me on this because that's all i could think of when i was reading and i didn't like it anyway so i'll take a little i might start on the wheel of time series now oh those books yeah because we've had some books? people comment in and uh they told me to read them well i haven't read them yet okay but uh yeah and thank you very much for your comments and and telling me how to what's the, like what uh how to read them because in sequence that's always a problem with books you never know what sequence yeah. you should read them i in. find when it comes yeah, yeah. to books or movies and that <laughs> it's just the best way is just to do it from oldest to newest usually if you're going to do the whole thing unless you're going to yeah. jump in at a certain point so for instance if you're reading comic books, you don't start way back in like the 1950s or 60s when whatever character that started because those books from back then aren't that great. You, you jump in at a certain point. But if it's, uh, you know, like Star Wars, I recommend you start with the oldest Star Wars and just work through it. If you're going to watch all the Star Wars movies, all 12 of them. Written by Robert Jordan. It's like I, I started reading the Warrior Cats books. Oh my gosh. I didn't know which ones to start with. There's so many of those is. books. So I went back. I read a couple of them in the middle ones. And then I went back and I, I tried to start with the history of the cats. And that's where I did. But yeah. now I don't even know where to go next. Yeah, we're so off many. on a tangent anyway, here. Anyway, it's hard to Stephen know where to start. But this one, there are now another few Holly books. And I have downloaded them. I'm just going to take a break because I need a break from all this deranged killers. Okay. Well. <laughs> Maybe too much Stephen King then. Yeah. Or any other Stephen King book fans out there, let us know your thoughts on the Mr. Mercedes trilogy or on the Dark Tower if you have any recommendations for Christine for what uh, Stephen King books to read next that aren't so dark and gruesome there. Yeah, I like let the fairy tale one. I really like that one. It's Feel free to sad. give us a like down below. Maybe one of our kitties will come back because they're being difficult today. Yes. But it's just the way it is, you know. <laughs> Never work with, with uh, animals, right? I was being very saucy today. 